Welcome to my latest retrospective theme, the Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Retro. So I'll just spend a little bit of time with you all, just walking you through the board and the template and letting you know some of the, the facilitation tips and tricks in, in case you'd like to emulate this yourself for your next retro. So starting with the top left, we've got a little energizer called Choose Your Fighter. You can see here we've got four characters from the Dragon Ball Z universe. We've got Vegeta, Goku, Freezer, and Android 18. They all have a specific personality and behavioral traits that maybe some of the team can resonate with. So very simply, you can just prompt them to duplicate one of the four icons that represent these characters at the bottom, duplicate or copy them, and then just plonk them next to that character. Once everyone's done that, it kind of builds up a bit of a, a team health check and you can have a conversation and make sure everyone's feeling okay and there might be some discussion around that as well on why they uh, picked that particular person and then moving on to the meat and bones of the retro so we've got a beautifully drawn by yours truly dragon ball z manga strip here so there's four visual prompts starting with the top left we've got an appreciation station or kudos wall where in the blue section there team members can show their credit rush to you and say thank you to, to their colleagues and stakeholders that have that hasn't essentially gone unnoticed in the last time box and then the top right in the green section we've got Goku flying higher on his magical flying Nimbus cloud and that's going to represent and be a prompt for suggestions in terms of how can we capture that fin of floating on cloud nine so what what sort of things can we do in terms of experiments that's going to improve the ways of working for the team and how do we get that, that happiness and uh, satisfaction built in and improved. And then bottom left we've got Kid Boo and you can see this dished out a bit of a paste into poor old Krillin in the background there. And the, this, this prompt and the pink section is essentially represents, you know, where do the team need help, what are the bad things that's happened, what are the threats that's emerging across the horizon? How can we swarm and, and support one another there? And then the last prompt, we've got Goku, who's mid Gendi Karma, uh, which is essentially drawing all of the sort of like power of the earth. And it, this particular visual represents all the good things the team have achieved in that particular time box. And you can see there's a, a little orange uh, coloured uh, box to the right where they can add all of their suggestions. Uh, so once the team have uh, reflected on that for 5-10 minutes, you can encourage them to, to read the board, group anything with similar insights and themes, and move them on to, to vote in what they want to discuss. You can see here we've got five dot vote encounters, all Dragon Ball Z uh, references and Dragon Balls built for, or taken from Mural's awesome icon collection, and they can just drag and drop that to the relevant post-it notes. And then obviously have that conversation, record your actions. And then before everyone leaves, we've got one final close in the show exercise. And you can see here we've got Shenron. Uh, so the team have collected all of their Dragon Balls. This massive dragon emerges from the sky and he's going to grant you all one wish each. So the team can put their suggestions and, and wishes and things they'd like to see implemented right at the bottom here. And it's all of our collective duty to try and ensure that they come to fruition. And then lastly, get, get the team to put the cameras on and vote with a fist of five. You know, one finger closed fist that this was a waste of time at a poor format. You know, open palm, five fingers. This was an excellent use of time. Loved it, really beneficial. So again, link will be on board all. I'll publish this as a template and I'll be really interested to see how people use this with the teams. Thanks for listening.